we played with a lot of places where we thought it might be so racy that we'd have problems. We never did. Never had a problem. Matter of fact, I remember the day uh, Chris and I were on stage for our bows, and all of a sudden, it, there seemed to be some sort of incoming stuff. We didn't know what it was, but it could be anything. And, we were these, and I saw little things falling, and I thought, oh my God, these are panties. Then I looked again, and I said, oh, these are bloomers. There was a, like 85 and 90 year old women who were throwing their bloomers they on the stage. They were all rolled up in balls. In balls. balls. They were like so coming. Chris, never missing a breath, said, let me have it. So I gave him one, and he put them on. <laughs> and it gave the name of the woman, this 85 or 90 year old lady named Marianne. Marianne. Yes, who he's now got a meaningful relationship. No, no, we, we don't talk anymore. <laughs> What's that? We don't talk anymore. Well, what about when those two ladies rushed the stage? Oh, rushed the stage. Two I brought them on stage. And they brought them on stage. Don't do this if you come to the show because the those show. ladies got arrested. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, they just came right on stage like we were at a rock concert. They rushed the stage. Yeah, it was strange. It, it was like a rock concert. And, and with the bloomers being They thrown thought out. you were Neil... No, Tom Jones. Neil, Tom Jones. Yeah, same time. I was going to say Neil Young. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> same, same time. I like the way you introduced me, by the way. I know, as, your, as my father. Yeah, but more than that, you try to explain who I am to the kids. Oh, to what kids? Oh, I, I don't give everything away. Well, just tell them. They have to come to the show. Know, oh, well, we did come up with dra uh, George's drag name. George's <laughs> drag name is Melanie Noma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And, and, and you try to explain to the kids what I am. Of course, the kids don't know me. Right? They're like, who is that? And you say, he is. And I say, he wrote that book, Old Man and the Sea. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he remember that book on your tenth grade literature. Or something. <laughs> That's who that person. Is. You get a little idea of what our show's about. It's 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 a lot of fun. It's amazingly um, well. There's, it's cutting. It's it, we we cut through and then and and it has a lot of you know this kind of wit to it. But it was written in a time where um, gay. Children of gays were perhaps more um, sensitive to to their parents. It's not so much today, and I don't know. I know Chris will probably give a better feeling of it, but I don't think that that part that that part I I play with my son is as as uh, what's the word for it? As cutting edge as it was originally. I think it's it's more about gay marriage now. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just that the, I think that just people like uh, you know. The, the, People, you know, a lot of gay parents. There are a lot of gay parents out there right now, and it's not that big of a deal anymore. And and uh, I think that's that's very true. It's like, yeah, the gay marriage issue is coming up. Um, you know, but the, uh, you know, as a gay man, they, they're kind of using that as a as a football right about now, the political football. And it's kind of I'm tired of it. So so, but this show is you know, it's, it's all it's about entertainment. It's, it's entertainment. entertainment. It's all it's about cool entertainment. It's got a great score by Jerry Herman too. Uh, can't, you can't yeah, be one of the greatest singer. earworms. The greatest earworm mm -hmm. songs you've ever heard in your life. You can't it. Songs. Earworm yeah. song. It, once you, when somebody, once you hear it, it's in your head. Okay. It's a jingle. It's a jingle. Almost. He's got a great, great hook. I got it, but you know what? That, that, that the first act when he sings, "I Am What I Am," it's one of the great moments. Oh, one of the great. The moments eleven o'clock number. I know. It, they well, the they day. used it's, to it's call it 11 o'clock because they started the shows later on Broadway. I'm learning so yeah. much. I'm yes, that's, that's why I was called 11 o'clock. And being that this show is across the country, every, every show is a different experience. Tell me the excitement about live theater. 